What's up YouTube? This is Detroit Borg and today is March 11th, the day the iPad 2 came out and in front of you is my haul from the Apple Store. I just waited in line for six hours to get it. Uh, so let's see what I brought home. So we have a white iPad. This is 64 gigabyte GSM so this works with AT&T in the US. And then we have a black version. This is also a 64 gig GSM version that also works in the US. So we're going to make the white iPad the star of the show. And we also have a leather cover. This is the white color. And we have the digital AV adapter, which I'm going to demonstrate in a later video. So these will be separate videos. I'll set those aside. And let's focus on the iPad. So on the front, we have the iPad in profile, again, emphasizing its thinness iPad on the side, Apple logo on the bottom, iPad on the other side, Apple logo on the top. On the bottom we have some of its information, so we have 64 gigabyte 3G version. Alrighty, let's crack this open. Just slide it up and there is the iPad and all of its white goodness. We just have a little tab here to pull up. It's wrapped in plastic, quite thin. Notice that even though it's white on the front, it still has this black bar on the bottom and the buttons are still black. So is the Apple logo. Wow, is that thin. Jeez. Okay, well, let's look at what else we got. Oh, so we have a SIM ejection tool. The iPhone 4 never came with this, so that's great. And we have some iPad documentation and, of course, the Apple stickers. We also have a USB cable. And we have the 10 watt USB power adapter. So if you peel the plastic off here, you can see that uh, the prongs fold out and this pulls off. So if you want to add an extension cable, you can. Or of course, if you live or if you travel to a different country or live in a different country, you can add your own uh, socket adapter. All right, let's flip the iPad over and peel off the plastic. Again, it's just like an envelope, it slides right out. There we go. Now taking a look at the black version, again, it's the same story with the iPad in profile on the front, iPad on the side, both sides, and Apple logo on the top and bottom. On the back, again, 64 gigabyte 3G iPad. Let's just pull up the iPad. Again, same story, black bar at the top, all black buttons, and a black face. So actually, I think this matches better, but I still like the way the white one looks. And all we have to do is peel off the back, and it slides right out. There we go, we have two iPads, white and black, and uh, they do look very different from the front, but otherwise they look the same from the back. Now taking a very close look at the iPad, you see the speaker grill down here, which are these perforations in the metal. So it's a very different design from the previous iPad when the speakers were side firing, so this actually fires toward the back. And of course we have the 30 pin dock connector. On the back we have iPad 64 gigabyte along with FCC and other information. On the top side you see the SIM card and the slot for the ejection tool as well as the headphone jack and of course you see the black bar for the 3G and uh, 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 GPS antenna and you actually can see the microphone right up here. So this is the microphone. If you have the Wi-Fi only, this would actually be cut into the metal, not into the plastic. And of course we have the camera and the sleep-wake button. On the side we have the slide switch, so this could either be rotation lock or mute. And we have the volume rocker. Now on the top you can see the FaceTime camera, and this is particularly evident on the white version, but you can see the ambient light sensor just above. And of course on the bottom you have the home button. Now taking a look around the bezel, you can see the glass actually floats above the edge of the rim. Uh, so it's just like the iPhone 4, uh, that's why you're able to get this nice edge-to-edge -edge, uh, white front glass, except for the black bar at the top here. Uh, but it comes right up to the edge of the glass, so you barely see aluminum when looking straight on. So that's a very nice detail. It's the same story with the black version. Again, you see the raised edge. So if we compare iPad 1 to iPad 2, you can see there's quite a bit more metal around the edge on iPad 1, so you can see a much larger uh, aluminum bezel versus the new one. Now if we look at the back dimensionally, they seem similar. The Apple logo seems to be about the same size. Uh, the iPad font is the same, everything is the same, but of course we have the back firing speaker here versus the down firing speaker. And of course we have a camera on the back, and the original iPad had no such thing. Looking at them from the side, you see the volume rocker is very similar in design. The slide switch has changed a little bit, so you can see that this is all plastic while this has a metal component to it. 
And of course, we go from the square design to this nice tapered design. Again, this is very reminiscent of the iPod Touch. Now, looking at the top, you can see the sleep wake switch actually increased in size on iPad 2, so they made it a little bit bigger. Of course, we have the headphone jack. It looks like this is a black insert versus a white insert. And the microphone is located near the headphone jack on the original iPad, but on iPad 2, they located toward the center of the top. Now, if we compare the bottom again, you can see the speaker design is very different to accommodate this sort of rounded bezel. Uh, so the speakers are no longer down firing. They're uh, firing toward the back or toward the edge. We also have the 30-pin dock. And again, this is black versus the white insert here. Of course, all these GSM iPads have these SIM card trays. So the old iPad had it located on the lower left side of the iPad. And the new iPad now locates it at the top left side. You'll also notice that the ejection tool slot is now located outside of the tray. On the old one, it was integrated with the tray. Also worth pointing out is the fact that the original iPad had a round back, so it was hard to lay it on the table without rocking around. And this now has a flat back. So if we lay it flat, you can see it won't rock at all. Put this one down. It rocks back and forth. Now if we power on for the first time, we're just going to be told to connect to iTunes. So let's go ahead and get that done. Alrighty, here I am at my computer with iTunes running, and I'm just going to go ahead and dock it. So iTunes comes up, and I just have to register. Now I'm just going to enter in my Apple ID. Alright, that's my private information. Click Submit. This also has Find My iPad, which you can set up. And I'm a mobile me subscriber, so I'm not going to do that right now. Now iTunes has given me the ability to restore from a previous backup of the iPad, so I'm going to pick the right one, which is the 3G iPad. iPad 3G. Click Continue. So now my iPad is in restore mode, and basically it's cloning my iPad 3G onto my iPad 2 3G. Now the iPad has been restored to a previous setting, and it's restarting. And once I'm done here, I'm going to sync my content to it, which will take a long time. As you can see, it even restored my wallpaper. Now if we look at iTunes, you can see it's now syncing my apps and content to it. So it's going to sync everything I had on my last generation iPad 3G. So that's music, movies, account settings, apps, everything like that. So it's going to take quite a bit of time. So we're going to leave it at that. Thanks a lot, guys. This is Detroit Board with a look at the iPad 2. Thanks for watching.